Welcome to Revamp with the Champ. This is yet another video of season one. This is episode two, and I hope you enjoy. And if at any point in this video you like something, make sure to like and also subscribe so that more people can see my videos and you can support me. I want to get to five subscribers, but sadly, I can't cook. Unless you like this video, so make sure to do that. So for this video of Revamp with the Champ, we are doing waffles. I have some Belgian waffles here that are imported from Belgium and they are made with pearl sugar. What you do is you take one of these waffles and you throw them in the toast, or you can eat them just like that. Whichever you prefer is up to you, but I got these and I'm like, oh, this would be a good video idea. So I will be making these again with a waffle mix that I really like. And I'll do a few different things to the mix, so it's more or less a different recipe. So, make sure to tune in for that. Okay, so now we have our cooking set up. We have the mix, we have the oil, and we have the milk. And that's it. <clears throat> so let's, let's get this on the shelf. Let's throw it on the shelf. So we need to start making the mix using our <clears throat> mix. And first we need to, we should get our pan nice and hot so we can see the preheat lines on. One cup of this. Carefully. And also three quarter cup of milk. And then a tablespoon of oil. Vegetable oil. Okay, now for that twist I was talking about. We're going to take some ground cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon, put that in there, and then we are going to take some pure villanelle extract. Quarter of a teaspoon. Boom, bada, boom. And mix it up. All right, now our mix is prepared and our 
iron is hot. Now we are going to take our oil spray and spray it on both sides. You don't want it sticking anywhere. And carefully take your mix and just fill up the bottom. Just until it's completely covered, not overfilled. Close. And there we go. Our first waffle is on the way. Now we're going to wait for the preheat light to turn off. Okay. So now we have our Belgian waffles and we're ready for the toaster. So just what you have to do is take the fat value out, put in the toaster, Pop it in, set your toaster to what you want, and just wait for it to pop. It's that easy. Once both waffles are done, we're going to do a taste test and a looks test and maybe a secret test based on both waffles. All right, our waffle is done and Ooh, looks good. Let's do a simple test. Looks good. But see, this side is not completely evenly hooked as the other side. So we are actually going to just flip this thing around because apparently it's hotter up here. So now I'm just going to do that. And let it cook for a moment more. And then we're all done. Also, Feel free to use your the rest of the mix to cook it. So, and remember, if you're liking this video and you're liking how things are looking, be sure to give this a like, thumbs up because the YouTube creators they made that button for a reason. So, make sure to hit it. both waffles in the three tests which I mentioned earlier. First we'll have the taste test. We can start with this waffle. Mm. It's really good. It's got nice chocolatey flavor because they are chocolate. And the syrup is really, really adds to it. Um, the different type of sugar is definitely interesting. I don't think I've ever had this anything sweetened with pearl sugar before. But it definitely has a nice texture. It's nice and crunchy on the outside, just like you would imagine from how it looks. <clears throat> good. 
and overall the looks, how it looks, judging is also important because it looks quite nice. It's got the nice boxy, waffly look that it has. It's got all the various brown spots of chocolateness. And yeah, looks like your classic waffle. So overall, I would say probably an 8 out of 10 on this thing. Just overall. Now let's do my waffle. of course. It's definitely good. The I like the texture of this. It has the looks test. It has the same looks as it. It has the nice crunchy outside. I definitely like the altered recipe we did. Adds some good flavor to it and whatnot. So yeah, overall, for the two tests, I give this waffle an eight out of 10 too. I like them both, really good. So now for the secret test. Now the real question is, do they Nutella? Of course they do. All right, thanks for watching guys. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I always like to see comments, so make sure to comment too. Let me know which one you think should have won more. So thanks again for watching.